Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at transparencies in AutoCAD. In particular, how come they're not plotting, and a few settings that are going to help you out, as well as how to set the transparency of objects, hatches, and more in AutoCAD to get that look you'd like in your finished drawings. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. All right, so starting off, in AutoCAD, there are settings and scales of transparency. Transparency means you can see through an object like these hatches here. You can see that the objects below it are visible, but you can still see the color from the hatch. Now, there are a handful of ways to set the transparency value in AutoCAD, and it varies based on object. Now hatches, you can simply drag the slider or enter in a number up at the top once you've selected your hatch or in the creation process. When you're creating a hatch, this menu up top, the hatch editor, will show up and you can simply edit or change the transparency you'd like it set. So zero would be opaque or not transparent at all, like say a wall. Raising the slider up to say 90% at the max is going to give you an almost see-through object with just a hint of the color visible and somewhere around 50 and 40 is going to give you that middle of the road transparency that typically we're after. This is going to give you the hatch color or the visibility of the object in front, but you're also going to see the outlines and line work down below. Now these transparency settings can be edited in a variety of ways by opening up the properties menu when you've got an object selected you're also going to see a transparency value here now for hatches this is going to be the same value um, but for things like lines and blocks and text you can also change this transparency value by selecting an object or multiple objects and simply adding or changing the value here so you can change this to 50 if you'd like that text to show up 50% transparent, which is basically just going to, if your objects are black, make them like a medium gray color. Now, this can be a great way for showing like previous or existing objects versus proposed objects, graying them out or adding transparency. I tend to like to use a gray color rather than transparencies, but that is up to you. Now, there is a third way you can set the transparency values of objects pretty easily, and that is through layers. Now you can see when you open up the layer manager here, you have a transparency value. Now similar to the other ones, you can simply double click in here and change that transparency anywhere from zero to 90. You can type in a random number or you can choose from the list in intervals of 10. Now the difference with setting a transparency by a layer is that every object on that layer is going to have that transparency. Now this can be a great way, as I mentioned, to set say existing line work or XREF line work. You can put it on a layer and turn the transparency to 50 and all of those are going to be grayed out. Now those can be overrided or overrode by the object properties itself. So if an object is on a zero transparency layer, but you've manually changed the transparency value in the properties, this is going to take precedent over the layer. Now, before we jump into solving the issues with transparencies displaying or not displaying in your drawings or when you're plotting, I wanted to remind everybody, if you haven't checked it out already, my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course is available up above and down below in the link discounted for viewers such as yourself. In it, I've packed over 15 years of AutoCAD experience, including my favorite tips, tricks, and workflows when getting started. You can learn things like setting up templates and title blocks, all the way to inserting references, making drawing layouts and sheets, exporting your drawings, plotting, sheet sets, all of that is included and more in the course. So don't forget to check that out at the link up above and down below discounted for you right now. All right, so next up, what if you cannot see or tell if your objects are visible in your drawing. Now there is a setting down here at the bottom and it's called transparency display. So you can type in transparency display and turn that on and off. And if you don't see this little checkerboard down here, this is what turns it on and off in your drawing. 
you can hit these three lines to the bottom right and go to transparency to turn that on in your menu. This uh, list here is going to show what is available and shown in your bottom quick access menu. Turning transparency on and off allows you to quickly use this toggle to turn it on and off. Now, as I mentioned, you can type in transparency display and simply type in one for on and zero for off. Now, this only solves transparencies displaying in your drawings. If you want to fix a issue with your transparencies not plotting, you can see here we've got a layout set up with our transparencies. We're going to type in plot. Now, if we preview our plot right now, you can see that none of these transparencies are plotting. And this is pretty common since a lot of people will miss this setting. And if you're using, say, sheet sets to plot a bunch of drawings or the publish dialog box, you don't have access to the individual sheet settings. And this is controlled on a layout by layout or sheet by sheet basis. So hitting escape, we got out of our preview. And you're going to want to check on these options on the right here. Now you can see plot transparency is unchecked and a lot of times that will be by default. It does save on uh, PDF size. Having a lot of transparencies is going to increase your drawing PDF size. Now hitting preview now that we've turned that on is going to now display in transparency. So you can see we can see that line work below our hatch as well as the hatch color itself. Hitting escape, we've exited our preview. And if you'd like to apply this setting, simply click apply to layout. And now when you plot, so I've closed that plot dialog box, type in plot again, it's going to be the default on this layout here. Now you may have to do that on multiple layouts if it's been turned off in all of yours, but that should solve your plotting issues with transparencies and I hope explains how they work a little bit better in AutoCAD. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments and don't forget to check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course to learn a ton about AutoCAD quickly and easily. The link is up above and down below. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Have a good one.